drinking a cup of tea. If you can read that, it says, I'd rather be fishing. Now, this is one of the mugs that I created for my Be More Wild project. I made a fishing one, um, one for camping, bushcrafting. And these are print-on-demand cups. And in the future, we'll talk about how you make print-on-demand products and mugs. Um, you can't buy these again now. They're not on the store at the moment uh, as I rebuild. But this video, I wanted to talk about um, income streams and what my current income report is. And from blogging, freelancing, and music, I guess they're the three sort of ca categories. Freelancing, I guess, would cover the Uber, Just Eat Driving, um, SEO consultancy work or website design for other people. And then you've got the websites. Now, websites cover Donny Art and Be More Wild and a future project you've evolved, as well as some blogs that I've made as well. Um, three of them are sort of passion projects, things that I want to build into businesses and take forward. The others are experimental blogs that I would like to turn into media type blogs where you can put adverts and affiliate products and make money um, passively through these blogs but they're not what I would call passion projects, meaning I would look at setting these. A funny thing is, is that I've actually offered money for the Be More Wild domain name to buy, and I've refused it. We'll do a video about that in the future as well, because it's a future project. It's still in progress, but it's it's gradually progressing. So this is about the income streams, and the third thing is music, which is performing, um, setting CDs or streaming and things like that. So they're the different income streams we're going to be looking at. So let's just pop it up on the screen. We'll go through a little breakdown. It's so, obviously you see bloggers on YouTube everywhere saying I'm earning 70,000 a month, 20,000 a month, 100,000 a month, 10,000 a day. And it's not that easy. I mean, I took a break for about four years and this is the first report I've done since starting again. And the most I ever earned a month was a thousand and that wasn't through lack of work. Um, if you know anyone that knows me or spoke about me, I, I started this 15 years ago and I made money when Google adverts were easy to use with ClipBank. You would put an advert on, use ClipBank and you would send people straight to the product, they would buy it, you get commission and that started earning me money and then Google cut that so that dropped. And I guess the issue with all the ideas I had, they were never future proof, they were never brand business ideas that I wanted to take forward, they were quick fast ways of using the internet to make money. Um, the best I had was I did a course with Simon Coulson, Internet Business School, got a diploma in that and I started doing SEO consultancy work and that got me up to about 900 to 1,000 a month with a few different clients. Um, then Corona hit and all of that stopped. People wanting to save their money. And I know that the world went online and you would think, well, surely you would have got more work because it went online. But when it first happened, people sort of sucked in and held in their resources and all that web design stuff and SEO stuff got put on the back burner. So they dropped completely. It weren't until recently that I decided I want to do a freelance lifestyle and it's starting from scratch. So it's been two years since I did any SEO work for anyone and a bit longer since I've tried doing the internet business seriously. I've had the Donny Yarton blog website up for a long time now but just left there doing nothing. So this is now the, the new stages. So if you look at the screen, you see the freelance driving I started last month. Um, so I've, I don't work for anybody anymore. That's the first step. I wanted to detach and separate from any employer as in nine to five, Monday to Friday, you have to be there. No freedom. So that's completely gone. So with the freelance driving, you can pick your hours, you work when you want, and when you don't want to work, you don't work. So that's the bonus of that. So that's the first step because I still need to earn money to support the next step of the blogs and the music again. So the driving is three days a week. It's Friday, Saturday, Sundays, all day. And with Just Eat, I earned 650. And Uber Eats, I earned 564. Now, this last week, I didn't work. Because of the fuel issues in the UK, I didn't work that week. So the actual earnings could have been higher than that. So this week we had the fuel issue in the UK where everyone started panic buying fuel and we couldn't, I personally couldn't get enough fuel to see through a week and that. 
I worked the Friday morning. The Saturday, Sunday, I didn't, which meant obviously no income. So the 1,200 for the month should have been probably 1,004, maybe 1,005 if I got to do the Friday, Saturday and the Sunday. And it's really annoying because the Friday morning, in the first four hours, I was on over £60. And but such is life. It happened. So that's what I got for this month. Um, three days a week, but there's one week of no earnings. So it could have been a bit more than that. The plan with this, obviously going forward, is to work three days. I'm going to push it up a bit more for the next few months just to earn additional money. The plan is then to use um, any excess money to invest into blogs like uh, the Bush Chef, Hugh Dogs, Stockholm Paydays, Focal Hacks, and get articles written, outsourcing. That's the plan. So I can still do the three days. I can outsource on these other blogs, which are the media blogs, and then the spare time focus on the passion blogs, which is Donny, Be More Wild, and Evolved. So you can see that's the money I earned, one, two, one, four. With the websites, now, You'll see here that Going It Raw, Wolf Chef, Hugh Dogs, Uvolved, they're all brand new. They've, I mean, Hugh Dogs is not even live yet. But these are the earnings through the website revenue. It's not anywhere near like the 10,000, 80,000 a month you see from people. It's nowhere near that at all. So you see Donny Yarn <laughs> earned in one month of September 11p. So I might invest. I might invest that into something. I don't know yet. Maybe a Lamborghini or a Tesla. I don't know. Um, so the eleven p through Donny Allen came through Google Ads. That's how the eleven p was earned. We got Be More Wild, which earned nineteen p. Uh, that was Amazon affiliate and a Google ad. And we got Fret Skills, which got forty six p. Vocal Hacks got one p. They've got four sites here which are brand new, which have nothing on it. You've old, you dogs. There's no content, there's no website running yet. And dot com paydays is still very, very basic. It's a very rough website. Only a little bit of content. Got nine P for Google Ads. So total was eighty six P for all those websites for the month. Which <laughs> so I think it was seventy nine P no actually no. Seventy five P through Google Ads. I think if I look at another screen here, actually, it'll show total. Uh, 74p came through Google Ads, and the remainder was Amazon Associates. So I can show you here. The Amazon Associates here was 11p. So I've got an 11p commission. Someone watching a YouTube video on Be My Wild clicked the link and purchased a waterproof jacket. That's how it worked. And I got a percentage of that sale, which was 11 pence. And the reports for AdSense here you can see Fret Skills 46p, Donny Yarton 11.com 9, Beamer Wild 8, and Vogel Hacks 1. Now, it's it's kind of comical that you see that and you think, oh, this is my Ditto account for my music, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, it's kind of comical, you think 86p, and you may laugh, and I get it, I get it. You go, you're doing all this for 86p a month. But there's a the good thing and exciting thing about this is if you can make one P online, one penny through your website, there's no difference to then making a million pound a month. Obviously the numbers are hugely different, but the principle is still the same. If you can make one P, you can make a pound. If you can make a pound, you can make ten pound. If you can make ten pound, you can make a hundred pound. So it's quite promising actually. So Fret Skills has got forty six P for that month. Fret Skills is a guitar blog. And I've been putting articles on there about different guitars, unknown guitars at the moment, unbranded, but Amazon popular selling ones. And the plan is to get more reviews on there to get Amazon Associate sales, which at the moment isn't working. But I did some reviews on some other products that I own as well, just to get it started. But the plan is to outsource lots of content. Eventually, Fret Skills will be promoting things like Guitar Tricks, which is an affiliate program. I am signed up to them. I checked it. I had 600 impressions, people viewing the banners that I promoted. One click themselves but again it's a work in progress you need to build the brand get it ranking high on google for all these different keywords and then build trust and eventually i think fret skills can start earning more i mean 46p i think it's brilliant um for a month it gives me hope that that site could maybe in two three months be earning five pound a month and if it's doing that 
it's still low numbers, but it shows you that it's working. I mean, Fret Skills has had no new content in two weeks. It still earned money. It shows, it shows you that passive income that eventually you could set these things up, add content once a week, outsource the content, and let it roll. Let it roll. Keep rolling, rolling. So 86 PIN for that. And the music, I'm not performing live at the moment, and I don't plan until till January. It's probably when I'll start January, February, when I start looking at it, because I need to get a PA system um, to perform live again. So that's all stopped. Sales, it says zero, and the streams, zero income. And I got a five pound, I did a live stream gig, and got a five pound tip through Buy Me A Coffee. I did a live stream on Twitch, and someone sent me a fiver. So that was a nice little bonus income. The interesting thing about the streams and the sales is that it's on Ditto and it says zero for sales. Uh, I think it's, where is it here? Royalties, sales, yeah, sales zero. I know I've sold three albums. Um, so it's obviously the data hasn't caught up itself yet. And it says it check back soon. So obviously the communication between the this digital distribution um software ditto the company and apple and amazon they've not communicated yet when i look at the analytics for streams because you should also get publishing royalties through streaming as well music again it's pennies or less than pennies that um was about 300 i think streams it said in the last month <laughs> and again it's it's going to be next to nothing but over time it should add up but there should be something here it tells me the streams but it's not converted it into a payment yet uh i'm not quite sure if those payment works yet a lot of them but i'm with cd baby as well and you have to meet minimum threshold of like 60 dollars before you can get anything so if i click on the last 30 days which will be a month because last day of september um sorry i, I thought it's 300 plays it's 270 percent it went up by um, I had 189 streams, which is 137 Spotify, 37 Apple, and 15 Deezer. Um, 189 plays, so that's going to be a couple of pen couple of pennies or a penny, <laughs> maybe. The interesting thing is as well, I know people have been using my songs on TikTok, and it's not displaying here, so it's interesting. It's not giving me the full data. I don't know why that is. Um, but the music is used on, uh, it has been used on TikTok because I've seen a couple of people show me that it's been used on TikTok, which is quite exciting. Uh, the songs all, yeah, so you, what you have to do, I know I'm going off subject here, whether you're interested in the music marketing or not, you can see that I've earned more uh so not earn more. I've registered the music with Ditto for publishing the new album. It's all been approved. Just laugh at the titles. I'm just trying to think of what songs they used on TikTok. I can't remember now. There's no details there, but yeah. So that's that. To show you the websites, Going It Raw is a completely empty website. It's got one picture on it, so. It's not even set up with AdSense yet. I've got to link it all. But search traffic zero is what you kind of expect. Google, yeah, all zero. So I've just literally set it up. Now, going it raw originally was to going to be a blog based around raw vegan diet. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep this or maybe just try and sell the domain name because the domain name going it raw is quite good actually. We also have on the screen here is Evolved. Now, this is a future project, this is a passion project. I've got lots of ideas for this. It's going to be a podcast and a TV app and it's based around more interview style and setting courses. But this is a long-term project. It's going to gradually be built up over time, but I don't expect to make any income for this for at least two years, three years. There's no ads on it. It's going to be a uh, course-based website. Wolf Chef is a dog food website. So I've been brainstorming content ideas for this so hopefully this can start getting some traffic as well. It's had six unique viewers. Vocal Hacks, it's a singing website. I had to reconnect all the analytics, it stopped working. But um, it's had 57 unique, 
Yeah, it was, sorry guys, let me just stretch my leg. Um, 57 unique views. It has been getting traffic. I can see the popular ones here are review-based products. That was a microphone that I reviewed. Fret skills. Fret skills was 45 unique views. So again, it's low numbers, but I can see that 36 come through search now. Uh, impressions have well, we've actually gone down with this month, but everything's been growing. Total keywords have gone up. Search traffic's gone up. Average position has gone up. Impressions have actually fallen a little bit, it says here. Dot com paydays, another one. Seven unique views, all low, low numbers. Um, but the interesting thing, this is the first month of getting the websites live, um, adding content, adding the adverts. It took me over a month to get, or just under a month, sorry, to get fret skills approved. For Google Ads, it just kept having issues uh, and them not allow it. So we'll see how these gradually grow and hopefully each month there'll be an improvement on the sales. Donny Utton is my music website slash look at that terrible score there. Needs to be fixed, but that's 74 unique views. And here, Be More Wild has had 109 unique views. Be More Wild is slowly, every time, gradually growing. It's a big project I've got for Be More Wild, a YouTube channel, slash the website with lots of ideas to progress it going forward, but I can see that it, it is growing. This is a new article that I wrote, and it's only about 40% complete. It's live on the website, which is a mistake I've done, but it's there now. It's, 40, it's about 40% complete, and it's the most viewed page on the website. So I need to get that completely edited and finished. It's got a mixture of um, lots of content and a few product recommendations throughout it. It's like a resource list for bushcraft and it, it is growing so i need to get that polished off more it pulls traffic in hopefully which would be good for the ads if not people may click the amazon affiliate links down the line so yeah that's the websites yeah this is the, i've got a few more that i'm going to add to it uh, maybe five more sites there'll be about 15 sites overall and i've got four sites that i help people with for free um it's i'm not at the moment I'm not working with clients I'm focusing on this and potentially looking at the freelance services maybe joining Fiverr and Upwork and offering some freelance gigs as well as well as focusing on increasing the music performances at the same time so there's a lot of stuff going on um, time consuming so 15 sites will be enough um, and hopefully I'll pick one of the websites for now just one and that will be what I call my outsource experiment. So I will, I will not touch the website besides uh, maybe configuring some of the SEO and adding stuff to the site. But I will get all the content sourced and written for me. So that's kind of it. You know, if you're interested in the journey of trying to become a freelance, freelance, whatever you call it, there's no name for it. I don't know what to call it. Um, I'm a musician. I do freelance stuff, and I like to build websites. So the plan is that these websites will f secure your future and earn you an, an income so nice passively as well that you can focus on your, your passion projects, which is my music, and Be More Wild and You Evolved. They're the big, big plans. And hopefully eventually like the driving is there now to actually earn the most money. But hopefully you'll see that the amount of days work driving will get lower as everything else increases and you'll be a switch and maybe to the point the driving will not be needed it'll just be websites and music and that'll be it so if you liked this idea of seeing income reports every month and you want to see more then just give me a comment a thumbs up if you want to follow me on the journey any questions like i say you're getting an honest review here from a person that's starting from scratch again building things up experimenting failing testing um it's the best time now to be part of the journey because you're seeing it happen and you can follow along doing your own thing and learn with me why I'm doing this. Um, I'm not coming as a complete beginner. I say I've got quite a bit of knowledge from the past, but it's still not earning me the money. So now this is trying to make things more streamlined, targeted and focused on earning money and not just making websites for fun. So I hope you enjoyed. Again, check out donnyarton.com.
that's my main website where I'm putting all the posts and the information. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Need to get these numbers up. And I'll make another one next month and share you these little videos as well. I know they're quite long, but it's the best way I can sort of describe and talk out my mind and plans. So yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll speak very soon. I'm going to finish my tea and a bit of quiche. So yeah, bye-bye.